Let us proceed with the program under the caption of today, Christ Warfare Method. Christ Warfare Method. We are fully aware we talk much about spiritual warfare most of the times. We are also fully aware that Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, is the perfect example of man in how and what we need to do in this life to be successful fulfilling God's purpose for our life. So in everything, you can only guarantee that you are doing it right according to God's standard, which is called righteousness. When you are doing it according to the ways, the teachings and the establishment of the kingdom of God. And the person who established the principle and theory of his kingdom is the king of that kingdom. And we are privileged to have him as our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Even he who manifested as the Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Amen. So we want to look at that subject briefly, which is directly connected to our last Friday program and prayers. When we were looking at this instruction he gave to us to speak to the mountain. And we dealt much of the aspect of seeing how to handle problems. In that approach he demonstrated to us through the illustration of the tree called the fig tree. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. Now, again, I will encourage you, if you are following the program and you are in a position and mood of sleep, do something to make sure you stay awake because there's no need for you to come to an all night and you are sleeping or very early hours of prayer. Now, we have to understand that we are in a battle on a daily basis. Battles are going on which mostly are invisible, even though some manifest in surfacing physically. But we are in a continuous spiritual battle or different phases of battle. Our Lord Jesus Christ confronted the bigger giant of the war and won for us. And so the Bible says we are more than conquerors. I am more than a conqueror. That means a more than a conqueror is somebody who actually did not really fight the fight, but yet he's the one who is the declared winner. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Because someone legitimate and powerful enough fought, conquered, and won for him. So though Christ has won the war for us, which is evident by his shed blood, we have continuous battles fight on daily basis at all times in order to sustain and maintain the victory that he has won for us. So even in salvation it's obvious that we are now the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus or through Christ but we are also demanded to maintain that salvation by walking in righteousness. He said everyone that walketh righteousness so there is continuous uh, demand for us to walk in the righteousness and the ways of God. And then there are forces on the other side who are also continuing engaging for us to walk in unrighteousness so that we can be captured under their control. So under this caption of today, Christ's warfare method, we want to see from the words of the king, Jesus Christ our Lord, what he has established as the approach or the method we supposed to use for this spiritual warfare. Hmm. So we're going to be reading some of his words as established in scripture. We're starting as those of you who have followed the scriptures in the Christ Disciple WhatsApp group. You're supposed to I expect that when you see those scriptures you read them meditate on them before you come before the time for the program so that you can already have some revelations that you are flowing with us praise the Lord Hallelujah. praise the living God Hallelujah. now the Lord Jesus said for us I read from the new King James Version 
of the Holy Bible, reading from Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. Matthew chapter 15, verse 13, I read. But he answered and said, that is the Lord Jesus answering, Every plant which me, my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Every plant which my heavenly Father, that's the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our God and Father, your Father, your Maker, has not planted, will be uprooted, or in a strong, emphatical position, must be uprooted. Somebody say amen. 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 Say after me loud and clear, every plant, every plant, every plant, <laughs> Which my heavenly father has not planted, which my heavenly father has not planted, will be uprooted. Every plant which my heavenly father has not planted, concerning my life, must be uprooted. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Somebody shout a loud amen. Amen. Shout a louder amen. Amen. Shout a more glorious thundering amen. Amen. The Lord has blessed the reading of his holy word. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Every plant. So we understood that. The summary to the plant here is symbolized as illustrated with our last Friday studies and prayer on the tree. Every plant, which means every tree which my father has not planted. John the Baptist says, the axe is ready to put right to the root of the tree to put it down. To put what kind of tree down? The plants which are not planted by our Heavenly Father. Whatever the Father has not planted in our life, like sickness and disease, infirmity, will be uprooted, Christ promised before leaving the earth. Now power is in his name for us to command them to must be uprooted. They are only going to exist as long as we are ignorantly allowing them because of lack of knowledge and lack of faith engagement. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the battle line is drawn. Even from the very moment Christ established his church, he said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. The statement of building his church is a statement of a battle line drawn for a mm. warfare. The gates will not prevail when he established a church. That means the church is to confront to make sure that the forces wanting to keep them under the captivity of that chain, of that mole inside a gate must not prevail. What's the symbolism of a gate prevailing? A gate is the kind of door that closes and opens. So a gate can close things, close life, close destiny, close health, close well-being, put it in bondage in chain, or a gate can open access to. But in the context of the gates of hell, there are the gates that closes our blessings. And Christ said it shall not prevail, which means we must make sure we implement the word of God so that they do not prevail. And such aspect for the gates not to prevail is to make sure every plant which is not planted by your father, my father, our father, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ must be uprooted. Somebody say better, amen. 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 So Christ warfare method is to understand the approach which he wants us to use in these battles in this spiritual warfare of life which is consistent every moment of our day 
because of the invisible forces in existence. Hallelujah. Amen. We must understand the approach according to Christ. But let us proceed to now see the connection. Before he now made this statement in Matthew chapter 15 verse 13 that every plant, whatever is not planted, everything that is not planted must be uprooted. He was already uh, making, he has made a statement in Matthew chapter 13 from verse 24 downward when he talked about a man planted good seeds and then while people are sleeping during the time of sleep another man who is considered to be an opposition came and started planting bad seeds so now he came two chapters ahead according to Matthew he said every plant that the father has not planted so where is he coming from he's coming from the original establishment that there is some man planting certain things which not God, which are not what God uh, plants. Now he showed us in the story of what we read last time, and we're going to look at that more detail in our understanding of today's subject. Such one of such plants was the tree we call the fig tree. The reason why the fig tree has to be uprooted or withered away is because it was a manifestation of this truth as one of the plant or the tree which our heavenly father has not planted now what is the meaning to that anytime you want to neutralize you want to eliminate the existence of what is positive you only bring the direct opposite as negative in simple arithmetic when you take the same magnitude of a minus and add it to the same magnitude of a plus the resultant uh, uh, effect is equal to what zero the result is zero mm. so most of the times the problems we have and what we are facing in life is that the devil does not necessarily come to remove what God has planted. He only comes to plant the direct opposite of what God has planted so as to keep the effect of what God has planted in our life to be neutral or zero. So Christ taught us that in the example of the fig tree. The reason why the tree which was supposed to produce fruit was not producing fruit because that was the strange tree that was planted, the plantation of the wicked one, in order to suck out the example of the tree, the nutrient from the tree that was supposed to be there positively to produce the positive fruits. And so, the approach of warfare from Christ is to understand as we go, there are the plants which must be uprooted, the mountains that must be removed on the way, their powers being neutralized. And then after that, there are the plants which need to produce the fruit that will now be activated or called forth into manifestation. If you understand that, say Amen. 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 So yet last Friday we tried to look on that one part of the approach on how to solve problems Christ's way on the concept of removing the plants. But then if you remove the evil plant, you need to plant the positive one in order for you to get the harvest. So the approach is you have root, you call out, the mountains, the blockages, you remove them and you call forth what you want. So the warfare equation is balance. Command, the disappearance, the elimination, the destruction of that which is the evil plantation and call forth the manifestation of that which is the desired expectation. Hallelujah. Amen. 
So it's not enough to uproot the fig tree and the plants of the devil, but it's also demanded to call forth your desired breakthrough. Like he said, Lazarus, come forth. What, what was Lazarus spiritually signifying in that context to us today? He loved him so much and it was his desired expectation for him whom he loved to be alive. The same like your desired expectation for your body to be healed. So it's not enough to rebuke the sickness, but it's also to uh, demand to call forth the body to function perfectly. So the equation has to be balanced. Of rooting what must be of rooted as the plants which the Father, our Father, our God and Maker has not planted, and calling forth what needs to be there. Praise the Lord. Amen. Now let's get to listening to our main subject. Today we will read now that Mark chapter 11 from verse 21 to verse 26. And now we, by the grace of God, begin to look at the dismissification behind that scripture. Go ahead and read for us Mark chapter 11 from verse 21 to 26. Read. And, and Peter, remembering, said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which he cursed has put out the way. So Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. For surely I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart to believe that those things he says will be done, you will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him that your Father in heaven may also forgive you your trespasses. But if you do not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven forgive your trespasses. This is the word of the Lord. Somebody say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Now from verse 21 to 26 is the block of the context which Christ was speaking of what we now look at last time with the focus on verse 23 commanding the mountain or speaking to this evil mountain to be removed now the Lord Jesus used a lot of uh, words illustratively but they have spiritual significance which we are privileged by the Holy Spirit to have some of the revelations and the demystification of some of those scriptures even now say amen amen, amen. amen. the subject they are things which are linked first the attention about the fig tree which we now understood in the spiritual significant it represents the plant the trees that the father has not planted a strange tree was planted to be drawing the nutrient that would have gone to the reed tree that will produce the fruit so that the tree that produced the fruit could not survive so that the tree that survives is a strange one that is not supposed to be and then now why they call their attention to that he now went ahead straight and began to introduce this approach where we now have the complete christ warfare approach established in that Mark chapter 11 from verse 21 to 26. First thing I want us to take note is to understand the hindrance or the obstacle to commanding this mountain. The hindrances or obstacles that stands and make it difficult for you to command any evil mountain to give way. Number one, the mountains referred to which we understood from last week, talking about the evil kingdom, and we have two main kingdoms in the entire universes of God's creation. You have the main kingdom of light which the king is jesus christ our lord and even by manifestation today as the king of kings and the lord of lords 
And you have the major kingdom of darkness, which the king is Satan, the devil, Lucifer, by these guys in the devils of today. Now, in each of the kingdom of darkness, you have different, different kingdoms. And the main organigram of satanic structure of his empire of the kingdom of darkness is structured in seven kingdoms trying to mimic the seven spirit of god <laughs> now you have satanic kingdom as exposed by his grace the harbinger of the last covenant in his book or called grandmaster now in christ you have seven satanic kingdom as a structure of the different main seven main kingdoms under the kingdom of darkness you have the kingdom of the earth a satanic main kingdom of the earth is structured kingdom mm -hmm. number one you have the kingdom of the water a satanic main kingdom of the water is structured and then you have kingdom number three there is the kingdom called the horrible kingdom of fire which is mostly like the kingdom of fire where you have all the strange satanic fire comes from and then after that you have four other satanic kingdoms to make seven of them so there are actually five kingdoms of the air from the kingdom of fire onward where we now get to the different astral kingdoms and then you now have the kingdom of the air and the kingdom of the water making seven kingdoms now the bible describes this satanic structure of his kingdom in the book of revelation talking about the dragon which is the old serpent disguised at the end in revelation as the dragon having how many heads seven heads each of the head is a kingdom that is symbolized now this tells us the complexity of the mountains that are standing on daily basis against god's agenda why are they structured in the different kingdoms because they carry different operations and they have different powers and then you go in each of those kingdoms you now have different different small kingdoms which are structured as regions and zones and then centers so sometimes you see some of these uh, uh deliverance confession of demon manifestation then sometimes you say i am of this kingdom of this other kingdom or that uh, most of those in real terms they are just small small centers but because they have a structure of a king and everything or queen by it they call it a kingdom but the main satanic kingdoms are seven under the big umbrella the kingdom of darkness and so christ our lord is the king of the kingdom of light which is the kingdom we belong when we believe in jesus christ and so that kingdom like we have governments every kingdom is ruled as a with a go, as a government or rule with a government and it has structures and every kingdom like a nation empire operates with constitution and so we have what we call the bible the reality of that is the constitution of god's kingdom given to us in order to operate and function in his kingdom effectively like in any country any empire the guided documents on the rules of operating in that country effectively is the constitution is that true to say amen, amen. once you are working within your rights in your country that you are and if that country is a country of rule of law that respect constitution except some banana republic we have in many parts of the world but if the country is functioning according to the rules then everybody is obligated to be under the influence of the constitution which is why we say no one is above the law that statement doesn't really work well in all the nations of men no matter how the rule of law in that country is even in places like united states it doesn't work well it's only in the kingdom of god where that will be true because in the kingdom of darkness that is not working and most of the systems of men are influenced by that so the reality of nobody is above the law is only in the kingdom of light the kingdom of god that is why even you and me as a child of god can be a victim of satanic affliction when we go against the rule of the kingdom of god mm. 
Because our God is the only one who is a king that is righteous. The only righteous king is the true God, Jehovah, who establishes kingdom under the leadership of the true king, Jesus the Christ. And that is why we, irrespective of the devil and his network of agents, whatever they do, can never and will never bring us down. And I pray that will be the same for every one of us in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Because the guided rules is the document of the kingdom, which is the constitution of God. And interestingly for you to know and us to understand that even that kingdom of darkness is a product of the kingdom of God. So it's also obliged to must obey the rules of the constitution of God. That is why you have to relax if you understand and follow the instruction of the king of the kingdom. Which is why we have to understand the Christ warfare method. That means no devil, no demon, no witch, no wizard, no satanic agent, no man, no creation or creature has the right or power to do anything contrary to the instruction of his creator. It cannot exist. That's a law. In short, it he must cease to exist if any creation try to sustain oppression against his creator. And if his creator is merciful when he try, he must go under punishment. That's the reason why Lucifer lost his place in heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. By just thinking a coup over his king, God did not even say anything. He was chased out because the system is already programmed like that. Mm -hmm. So, there are things if we don't subscribe by the instruction as established by the king of the kingdom, you cannot, and I pray that should not be you, you cannot command mm -hmm. any mountain. So the reason why most of the times we cry and complain of witches and wizards and what they do is that we, we don't have the power, the faith to command the mountain. Mm. So principle number one, an act of sin is a powerful neutralizer of faith. What I wrote in my book, Faith Neutralizers. So when there is an act of sin, the ability for you to have the faith to command mountain it is neutralized. So that's the first capital aspect of the summary of hindrances to command the mountain. Because why? The mountains in this context are living mountains. And even if the mountains you see as a natural mountain, they are also living. You don't tell a living dog to get out if the dog doesn't want to get out and he will not back against you. Mm -hmm. So the mountains are also speaking. Remember, you already understood now this mountain means kingdom, means there is a force, they have personalities. It's a network of the forces of darkness. Paul tried to describe our principalities and powers. And everybody tried to speak according to what? The constitution of God, which is the governing instrument to all creation, including the devil and the kingdom of darkness. So, because the Father said, the soul that sinneth shall die, is a powerful constitutional rule. So, when there is a living aspect of sin to be identified, and you are commanding the mountain, the mountain knows you are a dead person, so you're supposed to die. They will just neutralize every effort of that faith to act. Now, among all these aspects of sin, the capital of it is a sin under the umbrella called hatred, which is manifested as unforgiveness from grudges, malice. That's why he said, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. The word see God then means they shall hear or experience God. You cannot hear or experience God if your heart is not pure. No matter how much faith you claim, it will be neutralized. There will be no reinforcement. <laughs> so, 
let us see that in that structure. Christ told us the part, what we have to do to command the mountain is verse 23 of Mark chapter 11. Somebody say amen. 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 Now, when he started in verse 22, he said, have faith in God, which means they have the God kind of faith or have the faith that Christ had that he used. Mm. The faith to believe the word, command and speak as it's supposed to, according to the rule. And then now uh, he told us that faith is what you apply in commanding. Say when you command, you do not doubt. Because why? If you are commanding, there are forces to make you doubt. And part of the reason why you can't sustain commanding mm. is because the mountains will be speaking for you to doubt, especially when there is a presence of sin. And above all of them, the capital to neutralize that is unforgiveness, which is based on hatred, grudge, malice, bitterness, and the rest of all those kind of hidden sin in the heart. Remember I said the other time, the hidden enemy is more dangerous, or the enemy inside is more dangerous than the one outside. Yeah. That grudge you are holding your heart against that sister or that brother or that man or that woman, nobody is seeing it, but it's more dangerous than any arrow of atomic bomb outside to come and destroy you. Because the arrow, the, the weapon that is seeing that to use against you is stronger than all the military might. It's the mountains, the forces of darkness. So the hindrance to be able to do that primarily or generally is sin, particularly the sin of unforgiveness that is related with grudge, bitterness, malice, hatred as their capital, symbol so we must deal with that so christ shows us that when you are able to command the mountain he now went to verse 24 of that mark chapter 11 and he told us that you now can ask whatever you desire and then Believing that you have received and you will have them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So what is Christ showing us? You see that all the, 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 the scriptures from verse 21 to verse 26, they are linked. That's why it explains the context. The, the attention is brought in verse 21. Verse 22, the response began by demanding us to be actively aware of we need faith. To do what? To command the mountains to live from verse 23. That same faith is needed now to call for the desire you need. That's what it means. Whatsoever you desire when you pray. That prayer there is to the demand. You demand what you desire. And then the link between verse 23 and 24. Verse 24 started with therefore. And therefore, it's a conclusion of a previous statement. So the previous statement God began from verse 22 about, Christ began from verse 22 about have faith, conclusively telling us now what to use the faith to do in verse 23. He's now concluding it in verse 24 by saying, therefore, when you command the mountains and declare away, you are now able, you are now free to now demand what you desire and believing you will have it because the constitution is clear whatsoever you ask in my name i will do it then when he was on earth now after he went to the cross the name was exalted whatsoever you ask in his name the name of the lord jesus christ will be done say amen, amen. amen. then now it doesn't end there to have the faith to move the mountains to have the faith to call for the desired breakthrough to come forth. Verse 25 began. And you look at the continuation from verse 25. It's linking with verse 24 with the word and. So when you start a new sentence or a verse with and, it tells you that it's linking with the previous sentence. Is that true? To say amen. Amen. So verse 23 giving us the right to command the mountains to be brought to zero level. That's what it means if the mountain come out to the sea. The, the highest point of a mountain is as high as it is. The lowest point of a mountain, which is zero level, is the sea level. 
So that statement there, if you say to this mountain, be that removed and be cast to the sea, it's a statement to say, command the powers of the mountain to be neutralized. Or in a simple language which is sound to use in prayer, power of this evil mountain, die! In science or in electrical engineering, when we say power, die, or killing the power, you understand it means that it's to put it off. So, he now linked verse 25, which is saying that, though you are able to have the faith to command the mountain, but if verse 25 is active, if you do not do what verse 25 is demanded, what is verse 25 demanded? Whenever you stand praying, that means before you start that prayer, first prayer is to make sure you pray God to forgive those who have done you wrong. So what is the illustration? If the mountain is blocking you, can you cross to the side of your breakthrough? Certainly no. Hallelujah. Amen. So he said you have to command the mountain to get off. We understood what mountain means from the last program. And if you don't listen, watch all uh, the messages or listen to them on my YouTube page or whichever one you have. Praise the Lord. So the mountain must be removed because if not, a mountain blocks you not to have access to cross to the other side of your breakthrough. That's why after verse 23 of removing the mountain, the next thing is now you can call for your desired whatever you desire when you pray believe that you have received demand for your expected desire it will be done because the mountain was blocking you not to get there so it's now off you can get there but he now said no it's not complete verse 25 that's why he said on so you chain it verse 25 comes if there is unforgiveness somebody has done you wrong you do not forgive him that is a neutralizer now which will neutralize the faith you have so we have two major aspects in the warfare here which christ is showing us how to deal with in this christ method of warfare somebody say better amen amen, amen. there is the mountain blocking which we must remove but there is also the valley which you must cross if not you will not get to the other side of your desire Verse 24 is an illustration of what we desire. Say amen. 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 Whatsoever you desire when you pray. That prayer there is, whatever you desire, you make a demand by faith and it will be done. And Christ already told us that we make that demand by demanding in his name it will be done. But now, if you were now going to cross to get that your desire, according to verse 24, which is our desire, we desire to be healed, to be in health, or the summary fruits of righteousness or redemption, which is supposed to be the curse of the law is taken away, removing the three groupings of the curses that includes sickness, poverty, and death now supposed to be replaced with the desire of what we should have as health or good health riches and life so that is now like the desire of us according to verse 24 praise the lord Hallelujah. but the illustration shows that let's put it like you are standing here and you are to cross to get your desire First, you have a mountain blocking you, so that one you can't try until you remove it. But secondly, Christ says, even if you remove that mountain, there is a valley. That valley is called unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. So if now you have to get the desire, what do you now do? You must need a bridge to cross before you, you pass the valley. Is that not true? Yes. So most of the times when we hear and are taught like last friday about speak to the mountain remove the mountain we are actively aware but after removing the mountain what is the purpose of that is to for you to get your desired breakthrough whatever you desire but the desired breakthrough most times is not 
available because of the neutralizer, uh, the valleys which need the bridge to cross. Sin and unforgiveness. Primarily unforgiveness. So we must consciously understand in Christ's approach of warfare that mountains are to be removed. That is a tree that in order for the trees that are not planted to be withered or uprooted. But valleys must be crossed or else you can't get the desired breakthrough though the mountain of blockage is removed. And what is the need of starting the journey if you will not want to arrive at the destination? After you have traveled trek or drive for miles and miles and then you got close to the destination you ended there. Is that of any value? No. Most of, time, most of us many times we succeeded to some extent but as I said the major any aspect of sin especially the sin of uh, lust or sexual morality and the rest of the aspect there generally they will make the mountain speak back and neutralize your faith for them but even after some time that one the simple aspect of hidden sin of grudge of unforgiveness in manifestation is a valley that still rob us to cross so we must clear away these hindrances hallelujah amen so that is why in Christ's warfare method one of the most powerful revelation and the instrument for victory is to deal with that valley of unforgiveness hallelujah i explained to us in the program last week about speaking to the mountain that the approach of satan is always similar every established confrontation or attack by the devil or his network against man is always using a man against man mm. for example he wanted to stop christ from going towards his mission to fulfill his purpose he did not use a trumpet he did not come as a mosquito in the ear of jesus to say don't go to the cross he passed through the body of the closest to Jesus called Peter. And then Peter spoke. And if Christ did not rebuke Peter, addressing him Satan, even me and you today, we will not ever imagine that it was Satan that was speaking through Peter. I don't know who have just spoken to you these few days and I hear from the voice of the spirit through the eyes of the prophetic that it was the voice of Satan through that person watch out Christ's warfare method tells us he said I sent you as a sheep among what wolves what is he calling wolves people so Christ is describing that they say there are some people called sheep which happen to be the good ones like you probably but he said you are among other kind of people called what wolves now he told us that they are what wolves in what sheep, sheep clothing. clothing did you understand that 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 principle now yes, <laughs> Lord. hallelujah somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. hallelujah you cannot nobody in this life no christian no matter how they claim can ever succeed in the complete victory for warfare if he neglect one instruction of christ there, there's no way there's no way that's why he said it is only those who hear my saying and do them that can escape the wind the rain and the flood you must fall you just you can't he's telling us that 
There are the wolves, but you will never see them as wolf. Because they are what? In sheep clothes. And you are sheep. Did you see that even the manifestation of the Lord as God in Isaac could not identify the wolf in Jacob? Why? Because Jacob was in what cloth? Esau's cloth. I don't know that man, that woman, that brother, that friend, that whoever you call around you. You have to understand that outside working in the instructions of Christ, you are a risk to yourself if you are not watchful towards every human being, no matter how, who, and the status, such that you only have to follow the rules as established by the king and the signals of the spirit. And once we do not do his sayings, there's no way you can hear the voice of his spirit. Is that true? Yes. You can't ignore the words of the man and you expect his spirit to guide you. You are just a joke. To easily know when somebody's speaking, he's speaking false. If he's speaking contrary to what the, the king said, no matter whether it's in the Bible or not. Because the spirit of that king can never speak through that man who is disobeying that king. There is no kingdom where the forces in that kingdom or the military of that empire will support a person who is opposing the king. They will address mm -hmm. you. Yes. So sometimes we see people speaking in the name of preaching the gospel things which are contrary to the simple instruction of the king that love your enemy yet because they are maybe general overseers with big churches and titles we hail them as the greatest men of god oh unfortunately the spirit that will be behind such preaching can never be the spirit of that king jesus christ can never be Holy Spirit. Hmm. Because he himself said that that Holy Spirit will only take from him. So now, which means the Holy Spirit can never ever say anything contrary to what the Lord Jesus has established. Yes, it has sir. to build on it. So if somebody is preaching and what he's saying is contravening or contradicting what Christ says, and you see a spirit moving you don't need any prophet to tell you whether that one is a false or because the false that doesn't have anything to do with title whether he's a christian or a whosoever anybody in life who is saying or doing anything contrary to what is established by the lord jesus christ that is what makes that thing false so sometimes even we should even forget about the title whether a false prophet false pastor false no matter the fact that the Bible says, look at the thing that he's saying. Find false teachings. It doesn't matter how it's quoted in the Bible. If any teaching is different, if you, if you find anything different from what the Lord says, it's not the constitution of this kingdom that is established by Christ. That is the main thing we have. So most of the times, we pick some few things of what Christ said. The one that pleases us. Give and it shall be given unto you. Good measure of praise and shaking together. If you even read that same scripture in Luke chapter uh, 6 verse 38. From the beginning of that context. It started by talking about do not judge. And then he went further before coming to that gift. It's actually establishing even the primary aspect of what to give is, that is love. If you read the probably from verse 35 of that Luke chapter 6, you will see that before he now made the statement in 38, give, and it shall be given unto you good measure. What he was talking there is primarily love. Oh. Because God is love. 
So if you are not dwelling in God, how do you expect the power of that God to work for you? Hallelujah. Amen. Now remember, whatever my father in heaven has not planted, it also means <laughs> somebody laugh a little bit. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You just love your enemies to scorn. Amen. Amen. King rules by wisdom. So when wisdom is coming, you can laugh. The Bible says, He that seated in the heavens laughs. So now listen. The Lord Jesus Christ is the only one and his teachings and only teachings that are agreeing and related with his teaching supposed to be our focus because that is the constitution of the kingdom of heaven even as the kingdom of God that we are now with on earth. Let nobody deceive you or deceive us. The Bible said is Old Testament message. Jesus says is the message we need now. Did I just say that? Yes. Any the Bible said must be verified from Jesus says. If it's not in agreement with Jesus said, throw the Bible said. That may sound yes. strange now. I know these are the kind of teachings that when the devil's children want to do things, they'll pick it out of context. They say, hi, he said, throw the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> they will not bring the complete part of it. Any the Bible said that doesn't agree with Jesus says okay. is expired product. Hallelujah. Amen. And you can't use expired drugs and you expect to be healed. How does it work? No way. No way. Is that not what most of us have been doing? Yes. Whether the person who said the Bible said that is contrary to Jesus says is the man that has the greatest church and the greatest prophet and apostle general of Asia in the world it doesn't matter who said it doesn't matter what is that which is said forget about the cover and the content of the book forget about the name and the nature of the group or the ministry or the church check the message check the information the words i speak to you they are what spirit and life not the church i give to you the words i speak to you they are what spirit what spirit is in the world what spirit is in that world the spirit of that man speaking the spirit of christ which is the spirit of god that is the holy spirit that is the spirit of life so you cannot find the spirit of life to work for you if you are not having the words that are spoken by the man that has the spirit of life. So wherever the information is contradicting what this man said, forget about the title, the name, the church, the group. Now understand this as we move forward. Say amen. 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 every human group in association including church in the best form has the goats and the sheep in them in other words they have the sheep and the wolf in sheep clothing in them every group of association of pastors of reverends of bishops of prophets apostles they have what the sheep and the wolf in sheep clothing in them or the summary language the goats or the sheep and the goats that is why you are only supposed to look at the message the information not the cover and the con the, the color or the group where the book came from not the name of the church or the ministry how it looks like find out the message does it agree 
So you must at least help yourself to be master of that which the king has established for us in his word. That's the first power now on how to win the warfare Christ's way. First power is to make sure we know, study the words of that Christ very well. That's the first power and the foundation to the victory of Christ's warfare establishment, which is a kingdom procedure. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So after we now understand these two main aspects of the hindrances, now let's look at the relationship to those scriptures. Let's now read. Verse. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's read John chapter 14, verse 13 from the Amplified. John chapter 14, verse 13. Do no, it. excuse me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read John chapter 16, verse 23. Amplified version. John chapter 16, verse 23. In that day, you will not need to ask me about anything. I assure you, and most solemnly say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name as my representative, he will give you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Another other amplified version has. The place there saying that you will not ask me questions. So, though we can ask the Father anything, but the primary figure of the things to ask Him there is question. Asking the Father here. Now, let's get John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14 now from the King James or the New King James Version that you read it. John 14, verse 13 and 14. Is somebody blessed to say amen? Amen. And whatever you ask in my name, uh, that I will do that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the Lord established for us that when we ask anything in his name, which is the seal, like you write any letter any official thing there must be a stamp for it to be considered approved the stamp is his name when we ask anything his name i said when he was on earth say i will do but now after he has paid the price the name has the power which means when you ask anything in the name of the lord jesus will be done if you ask the demons out in the name of the lord jesus in my name they shall cast out demon it must go that mountain must get off the power. If you command the power behind that problem from that mountain of your life to die in the name of the Lord Jesus and you do not doubt in your heart, the mountain must go, it must die. Mm. But remember, I told us what makes you not to have the ability to ask without doubting, sin mm. summary mm. and the valleys in very serious concentration on forgiveness so he now said we can ask that's not why in the verse 24 of the mark chapter 11 he said when you remove the mountain you cannot ask anything you desire are you desiring the breakthrough Whatever breakthrough you desire, is it marriage? Is it whatever you put in the list? He said, you ask whatsoever you desire when you pray and believe. Pray in faith. It, you shall have it. Or you shall receive So he now established for us his name. But what I want to now establish on this approach where he taught us in this warfare is the word we already know that I've said many times. 
That why is it that in John chapter 14, verse 14 or verse 13, he told us to ask anything in his name and he will do. And then in John chapter 16, verse 23, he now tells us to ask anything from the Father in his name. The Father will give. Praise the Lord. Because we will see that in chapter 14 of John, 13 and 14 of John chapter 14, verse 13 and 14, he's telling us whatever you ask. He didn't tell you who to ask from. So you now find that in John chapter 13, 14, verse 13, he said, whatever you ask in my name, I will do. He did not say whatever you ask me because we are not to ask by him. Mm -hmm. yes, but in John chapter 16, verse 23, the same in his name, he said, whatever you ask the father, in my name so you see now that in john chapter 16 he told us who to ask from mm -hmm. why because the john chapter 14 verse 13 case is to demand anything that is in agreement with the constitution all you need is to demand it by faith in his name and it happens peter now demanded in the name of jesus so that i have rise up and walk and it was done the man rose though the man held back to because he didn't have enough faith peter helped him because peter knew that i have asked him to rise up and walk in the name it will must happen praise the living god Hallelujah. So whatever we ask in the name of the Lord Jesus must be done. Now, if we ask anything in the name of the Lord Jesus is not done, two things are there. There is a mountain that is not yet removed or there is a valley that is not yet crossed. That is all. But why did he say that when we ask the Father in his name, because primarily that's why the other amplifies primarily put the list of what primary thing to ask is to ask the father questions because we are in the world where human beings are those who are human beings as sheep good people in god's righteous terms and those who are human beings as wolves but they look like sheep that means no physical identification can differentiate them so how can i know except i ask the father question father this man this woman this boy that girl including family members not even family members people born from the same womb was cain and abel not from the same womb yes so who told you that that your brother that your sister is enough for you to relate with as a sheep without hearing from the father who he or she is i'm telling us the things i know practically three quarter if not all the problems of good people is the wolves among them in sheep clothing So Christ's approach for warfare is to do only what he said and all other things that agree with it. Because all other things that agree, they are building on what he said. And to disregard any other thing he did not say. And there is no witch, no devil, no demon anywhere that can stand you. Because in the, when you are doing what he said, love your enemy, don't hate anyone. Because you don't know 
Who among them is enemy? You just do what he said so that his spirit can guide you to win for you. Amen. Because then you can now cast the demon out in the name of Jesus and it must leave. If the wolf in the sheep cloth is a demon or devil or summarily an evil spirit, what does it need to leave you? Out in the name of Jesus. Is that true? Yes. Yes. He said that in Mark chapter 16 verse 17. First thing is to cast out devils. The very first thing which is a sign that follows the believer. It means every believer is supposed to be a demon or devil caster. So why should we be afraid of witchcraft demons? And yet we want the witches to die. Instead of casting out the demons of witchcraft. Because the wolf knows that as you desire the witch to die, you are acting contrary to the king instruction that says love everybody. <laughs> so in order for him to hold you down, as I said, he uses B, I mean A to strike B, and then he goes to B and reveals to him that it's A that strikes you, so that B will now go after A, and why B is fighting with A, fighting in the flesh, the demon in the A is still dealing with B. Today, the Lord is bringing you to stop any warfare you know and all the spiritual warfare knowledge and prayers which are contrary to the instructions of Christ. We, the warfare principle of Christ that we are not fighting against human beings. If you do that, you will never be free from the wolves. The wolves are in sheep clothing. It will only take the spirit of him who you are obeying to show you who is a wolf and what to do to escape from the wolf. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The last on this caution is that the Lord said that to me many years back. He repeated it as I've said it time and again emphatically in 2019 December when I had a crusade in Yaoundé, the capital of Cameroon. And the statement was repeated and I repeat it again. It was from 2020 onward. Any man, any woman, no matter the title, the status, who violate or break any word of Christ must pay for it, no matter the title, no matter the position. And that the only problem of man, as from then onward, is summarized to be only disobedience to the instructions of Christ. There is no problem of any man that is because of the strength of the devil, demons, when they have given you power to cast them out in his name. The only problem is that his name will not work in the hand of the seven sons of Sceva because the seven sons of Sceva are not obeying him. May you not be the seven sons of Sceva. Amen. You know the seven sons of Sceva in the book of Acts? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Jesus that Paul preaches mm -hmm. and they commanded out in the name of the Jesus that Paul preaches because they themselves doesn't practice that Jesus. So they have to refer the one Paul preaches. Mm -hmm. And the demon said, no, you don't call his name and expect his spirit if you are not doing what he said. Mm -hmm. That Paul we know because Paul is doing what he said. General overseer who is not doing what he said. We don't know. <laughs> Apostle, prophet, bishop, archbishop. Peace. Now including yourself. Christian. Or any religious man who is not doing what he said. The demon said we don't know him. <laughs> 
they will still deal with the person. So the problem of man today and forever is only based on disobeying the instruction of Christ. Not doing the things Christ tells us to do or doing the things he told us not to do. Apart from that, there is no problem that will bring anybody down. No devil, no demon. Because if we do what he said, we have power in his name to cast them out. We have power in his name to demand whatever we desire and it will be done. We have power in his name to ask the Father whatever we need to know or whatever we want that is within his reach and he will give. We have the power in his name to get the guidance of the truth from his spirit, the spirit of truth. Look at the virtues. They are only coming from the same man, the king of the kingdom. And it's established by his word and his teaching. So, if I have the spirit of truth to guide me into all truth, wouldn't I know the wolves that they are in sheep clothing? When I see them, will I not know? Huh? He's only in the sheep clothing because he believes that they cannot know him outside the cloth. <laughs> or they can't know him inside the cloth. That means, that statement from Christ means, no natural human eyes or means, technique, technology can know the wolves inside the sheep cloth. Because only the eyes of the spirit of truth can see beyond the sheep cloth. So Jacob before Isaac in the, this symbol the Isaac example of the Old Testament order. The Old Method order. Could not see beyond the Esau cloth, sheep cloth. But now the Jesus order by his spirit which is based on his teachings we practice can see beyond. So if we must get that spirit of truth work for us let us take serious to do what Christ says. Love your enemy. Love everybody. <laughs> now let's get Luke chapter 10 verse 19 again to be read read luke chapter 10 verse 19 praise the lord Amen. joshua read luke chapter 10 verse 19 behold i give you the authority to travel upon serpents and scorpions mm -hmm. And about all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say Christ's warfare method. Christ's warfare, Christ warfare method. method. Say Christ's warfare approach. Christ's Christ warfare, Christ warfare, warfare, warfare approach. Yeah. Say I receive grace. I receive, I receive grace. grace. To follow Christ's warfare approach to follow Christ's warfare, Christ warfare method to follow Christ's warfare method hallelujah Amen. so what he described to us about his warfare method is demonstrated in that Luke 10 19 he said you have my authority and power or you have my authority to use my power how do you exercise that authority? In his name. You command, demand, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mountain, move. Powers, die. Neutralize of darkness. But, you only are restricted to use it within the jurisdiction of what? Serpents and scorpions. Scorpio. Seven scorpions summarized to limit, I mean to signify evil spirits. And there are different categories. That's why they use 
more than one identity there. And over all the power of the enemy, not over the enemy. So if you use it over your enemy, who is an enemy to you? Any man or woman that hurts you or desire you evil. Is that true? Yes. So that will give that a witch or wizard is a perfect enemy of yours if it's working against you. Yet, the power of Christ and its authority for us is to not go after the enemy. To go after the power which is the illustration from the mountain. Because when we do that, as I explained last week, the evil plantation must wither away. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Why do we have to trample over the spirits? Because the spirit is the one that generates the power. Mm. The trampling over the spirit is simply means do what Christ says. You can't trample over them by going and be arguing and spirit. Would you even see spirits? <laughs> you trample by doing what Christ says. That's just what it means. Because the spirits cannot manipulate you. That's the reason why the spirits are involved there. They manipulated Peter and put their words in his heart and he spoke them. Because why? Did you, we see, did we see why that happened? Because Peter did not agree to do what to do, did not agree with what Christ was saying. Because ask yourself the question: This is the Lord Jesus Christ, whom few verses behind, before that verse, said to Peter, "You have spoken because the Father spoke through you. These words are not from flesh and blood; it's the Father in heaven." Yeah. And just a few verses later, he said, You have spoken because Satan is now speaking. Get out, Satan. So what now made Peter now? To now be used by the serpents and scorpion to say what he said. Because he did not agree with what Christ was saying. Did you see that? any thought not even words talk less of action that you do, do not agree with what Christ said it doesn't matter whether whosoever man of God is saying it you must not allow such to stay in your heart because you will be used you will be used by serpents and scorpions and manipulation you can't trample over them mm. it is a continuous meditation of the words and the teachings of Christ in our heart with determination to do it that means we can we are subduing trampling over serpents and scorpions the spirits are there to activate the manipulation of their concept so that their power which is the power of the enemy can constantly crush or hold you down if your mind doesn't go contrary to the teachings of christ no evil spirit can be able to manipulate us or you Hallelujah. Amen. And therefore, none of their power can prevail against you because Amen. you will be trampling against it. And I explained Amen. to us last time, anything is only dangerous to you when his power is active and intact. Is that not true? Yes. Once you neutralize the power of that thing, it is of no effect. That's why he said, love everybody. Love that enemy. Love that witch. Love that wizard. You do what I say. Use my name in, in my authority. Command the power of that witchcraft to die. It must die. Leave the what? Witch or wizard. Kill the witchcraft power. Amen. You are free. Amen. Did you see that theory? I said that last Friday. Mm -hmm. Don't kill the witch. Don't hate him. Do good to that who hate you. Pray for him, for God to forgive him and bless him as a person. Desire him well. But use the name in my name. They shall cast out. You 
demon of witchcraft out in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. They will go. Amen. Then the witch now remains the sheep. Now that you are, cast out the wolf in the sheep cloth. What will remain? The sheep cloth. Right? Yes. <laughs> That's what I explained last time. That the witch must die without you hating or desiring him to die. Once you deal with the witchcraft power or spirit. The illustration again, let me give you another illustration. I used the one last time that some of you may not understand. The sheep cloth that I've used. If the wolf is using sheep cloth, so it's like wearing a masquerade. Huh? The wolf is cast out, which is that evil spirit. That serpent, that scorpion. Or that demon. What will remain? Will sheep cloth leave? Mm-mm. It was die. Mm-hmm. But if the wolf was attaching to a human being in that uh, carrying that sheep cloth, now that the wolf has left, they will remain the human being in the sheep cloth. Is that true? Yes, powerless. If that woman being now remain in that sheep cloth without the wolf, is he of any threat to you anymore? No, powerless. So why are you bothering about let the witch die? Let the wizard die. <laughs> let my enemy die. That human being now remaining in that sheep cloth, if he repent, the masquerade of the sheep cloth will be removed. Hmm. The repentance, that's what it means. He repents, confess, genuinely repent. The mask of sheep cloth is open. Then now he can be filled with the spirit of God and now have the real sheep body, not sheep cloth. Oh. Mm. So in that case now, he now become from a witch to a saint. Amen. From and peace the highest satanic agent to now the agent of God, Holy Spirit, which bring plus to the kingdom of God, not a minus. Hmm. At least he will confess his experience as a witch. That will help people now to escape witchcraft oppression. Mm-hmm. Do you know why in the police or security systems, according to the rule in correct nation, no banana republic that we have in many countries, <laughs> the police are not supposed, or the military system, mostly when they confront, they are not supposed to kill anybody. They are actually trained, that's why they call them forces of law and order, or they call them forces of defense. They are only supposed to defend, protect, go after, to arrest, disarm, neutralize, all criminals they are only supposed to shoot to kill when they are are threatened that means if they have no other option because it means if more lives are in danger they should kill that one life rather than allowing that life to kill more lives that's actually the rules these are principles from god's kingdom that they picked now what that means is that the reason why even when you hear that this person kill or this that 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 when they arrest him when if he's arrested they're supposed to now carry him to court and all the stuff they are not supposed to kill him because he has information they need to get so let's say in a group of terrorists they now capture one of them if you kill that one you have just destroyed your victory mm-hmm. You have to make sure that one gives you all the information because it's through him you cannot get their secret and their hideout and go after them. Mm-hmm. Did you now see why Christ said love that witch, that wizard, mm-hmm. that enemy? Mm-hmm. How many of you have been blessed by the ministry of his grace, the Ash, uh, the harbinger of the last covenant? 
I, Selena, I am blessed. Now, that was the highest ranking witch as the Okor Grandmaster. Those exposures and deep truth that God is using him to bring. Where were we going to get them if he was killed? If Jesus just appeared to him and struck him dead. Because his conversion happened like that. His Christ that appeared and arrested him. That the level he was, there's no gospel, no born again preacher can preach to that person to be converted. Now, but imagine that Jesus came and struck him dead. Or the same way Christ came to Paul and just struck Paul dead. You minus 13 books or 13 mm -hmm. epistles in the book of uh, the New Testament. Would there be any other New Testament? Mm -hmm. Actually, if you minus it, we just have uh, Acts and some few of John letters mm -hmm. and then the Revelation. The letters of the New Testament, which is the act of the Holy Spirit, they will not have any meaning. Now that 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 positive gain for the kingdom will be lost if the Lord killed that enemy. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Are we seeing the wisdom of Christ warfare method now? Yes, Lord. Again, remember I said God told me repeated Holy Spirit re-emphasize it from the Lord Jesus Christ in 2019. December that from 2020 onward now until the end our problem is only disobedient to the instructions of Christ which are already there in the Bible if you disobey you do not do his sayings the rain the wind the flood brings you down if you do his sayings the rain the flood the wind cannot bring you down the rain the flood the wind are the wolves the witches and wizards and all their works but you can convert them. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And then you command the mountains and the plantations that are not of God be uprooted. And then you call for the desired expectation. So let the Lord show us how we do in his warfare approach. He said, remove, command the plantations that are not planted by my father. He said, by that demonstration, the fig tree was not the good tree, uprooted. Every plant not planted must be uprooted. Then he said, whatever you desire when you pray, demand your desire. He shows us that desire demand. Lazarus, come forth. Today, you're going to begin to command everything your father has not planted in your life. To be uprooted but we have yeah. understood the approach is what they will confront the mountain by commanding the power behind them to die the trees wither and then call for whatever you desire let's get that now read for us john chapter 11 verse 23 sorry john chapter 11 verse 43 john chapter 11 verse 43 and now that we begin to pray. Praise the Lord. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Continue the next verse. And he who had died came out bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to him, loose him and let him go. Praise the Lord. For you to get your desire breakthrough, you call it forth in the name of Jesus. He, Jesus, call it forth. So he did not need to call it in his name because he himself was the one power. Mm -hmm. Now that himself with that power is in his name. So we call it in his name and he will come forth. That will be your portion tonight, this morning, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Whatever you desire, when you pray, when you demand it to come forth like Lazarus, it will come forth. And he told us and said, you don't only call that desire to come forth and end there. You check to make sure it is exactly what it's supposed to be. He came forth, but he was still tie bound. Means he can never fulfill purpose. Lose him. Mm -hmm. He was still tie bound because it means he doesn't know God's mission for his life. 
Do you know God's mission for your life? Purpose. So, he doesn't stop to just call forth what he wants. He moves to make sure it is exactly what it should be. Praise the Lord. So, we have seen the example, the demonstration of Christ's warfare approach. One, it has nothing to do with any man, whether enemy you call, witch or wizard. You pray, you do everything he says. Matthew chapter 5, verse 44. Love the witch, the enemy. Love any man. Pray for them. What is a prayer? The prayer of love. Father, forgive them, transform them. Nothing more, nothing less. And I want to caution you. Anywhere you hear any preaching that says, because the Lord Jesus did not put a prayer point in that prayer to pray for the enemy, you can put any prayer and you are praying prayer that are contrary to love. The context is love. So the prayer will be prayer of love, right? And if you pray for the man to die, the witch to die, or you desire anything that is contrary to good for him, is that love? He said, do good to them who what? Hate you. Who are the people who hate you? Is it not those enemies? Is it not those witches and wizards? They are Christ, the king says, for you to win in this battle, you do what? Love them. Do good to them. Paul says, if they are hungry, give them food. Means help them if you can, if they need it, if they ask it. But you also have to be cautioned. You don't just give anyhow without the guidance of the spirit because you can be trapped by using what you give to be tampered. So there is also caution. But that is the approach. Then you demand whatever you desire. Lazarus was Christ's desired love. That's why the Bible says he loved him, loved the family. That's the same like that breakthrough you loved, which is what you need. That's the same like that thing which is dear to you. Call it forth and demand until it is the way it's supposed to be. In the name of the Lord Jesus and it shall be. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now we're going to start praying and before we start praying, I want you to understand in the illustration here of what Christ did behind the scene before calling for Lazarus. Because some things are in scriptures we see the code site like password but when you enter inside putting the password it's like the mystery is open by revelation of mysteries what actually happened there is not just calling lazarus for when he came there he was praying if what was the prayer father i thank you that you always hear me you have heard me that means the prayer He's already done. What kind of prayer and what did he do? Whatever you ask the father, he will give you. The father has given information. Remember they came and told him Lazarus was sick. He was there. He said, oh, this sickness is not on to death. But then Lazarus died. And then he never went anywhere. After some few days, he now woke up and said, let's go. Huh? <laughs> and uh, since Mr. Thomas was around, Thomas made it very well to say, uh, let's go and die also together with Lazarus. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> but what I, I'm bringing to our attention here is, forget about the drama of Thomas. <laughs> okay, By his name already, you know what it means. So, the picture here is that, what made him now to say, have the audacity to now say, let's go. Whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. Mm -hmm. You ask the Father, what should I do? When the Father said, go, forget about all the storms. Forget about all the witches and wizards. Mm -hmm. I remember I just told us what, yeah? Every creation or creature must obey his creator. Once the creator speak, every creation must obey. Our problem is disobeying the voice and the command and instruction of the creator manifested as the king, Jesus Christ, 
That is why we command the creations they don't obey. So once the creator said go, it was safe. But in the context before the creator said go, he has already told him to deal with the mountain. What was the mountain? Remember the power of that mountain, the kingdom. The power that was keeping Lazarus in the grave was dead already. Hallelujah. Amen. The mountain that was blocking Lazarus in the grave come out and go to the sea means you powers of this mountain of death, powers of the kingdom of darkness as the powers of what? The grave. The Bible called that the power of the grave in the book of Hosea. The power of the grave Thou power keeping my dear Lazarus, my desired breakthrough, die. The power was dead. So what was remaining now is to call for whatever you desire when you pray, come. So he did not just go and call and say, Lazarus, come forth. And then Lazarus came. Where? What would the mountains be doing? Mm. So take note of this light and this revelation. You must deal with the mountain first before the fig tree can wither. And now when the fig tree wither, you can call for that your desire. Because as long as the plantation, the wrong plant is still there, the right plant cannot grow. Mm. What is the right plant? Your desired breakthrough. And the way to kill the wrong plant is to kill the power behind the wrong plant. Which is that sub power of that kingdom. That will mean come out if the, the mount, sorry, the mountain, which is the kingdom behind it. If it comes out to the north level, come out to sea level, means the power is down, is brought down. Any power, any government is only as strong as this power he has. In the physical system, the power of any nation or government, empire, is two things. The Bible has it. One is money. Two is military. Military is debt in any nation if the economy is down. Is that true? Yes. Any nation of the world you hear the core superpower is because it has the material resources. That is why one of the ways... The West and America, in their own wisdom to bring down Russia, was to apply economic sanction on them, which is still not working. So Russia is still fighting in Ukraine. Because it still has the wealth and resources to constantly get the military power. So, in the spiritual perspective, all that is bundled like one thing. Once you bring down that power, the kingdom that mountain go down to sea level mm. the tree which was planted by that evil kingdom with us because there's no power to keep it again so the powers of the grave holding Lazarus down so they cannot hold Lazarus again the grave what was remaining is the tomb to give back Lazarus but the tomb cannot give back Lazarus until you now call it forth. Whatever you desire when you pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now you don't know. I don't know. The many, many sheep. Clothing. Hiding the wolves within and around you. But the wolves are only able to sustain as long as the power of the wolves is active. Ah, Makatatia Kapu Siliba. Listen to me. You're going to pray this prayer. First, you have understood the revelation of the mountain and the valley. Is that true? To say amen. Amen. That's the first. We are now revising the Christ warfare method. There's a mountain and the valley to be dealt with. Mountain summarize. The blockage, the resistant forces of darkness, the valley summarize, the internal enemy, the sinful act under the capitality of unforgiveness that you keep. 
must deal with. That's why I say whenever you stand praying, first thing, deal with this issue. Forgiveness. And he taught us how to forgive. Pray to the Father. That's why I say those enemies you pray. First prayer, Father, forgive them for they know not what to do. Once you forgive them as he did on the cross, Father, forgive them. You don't say, I forgive and stay there. Mm-hmm. Things enough. You pray. That prayer is an investment of love. That's why it's called forgive. You pre give. You give in advance. Forgive. You are investing in their life spiritually. That's love. Okay. You pray to the Father. You invest love. Now, then the person has no option but to repent if he refuses. That love you have given in advance will multiply in potentization. In the effect, multiplication of four come back to you. Go back to him again. If he resists to repent, then that love will destroy his heart. The greatest power is love. Why? Because God is what? Love. love. Is there any other power greater than God? No, sir. So why do we subscribe to lesser powers of hatred? And yet God is love. The weakest power which is counterfeit is hatred, unforgiveness, bitterness, because that's the devil. The same way God is love is the same way the devil is hatred, unforgiveness, and all the rest. The same way God is light, the same way the devil is what? Darkness. Anytime you have a plus, you must have a minus. If not, the equation cannot be complete. Whenever you forgive, you have just identified with light, plus, power, God. Whenever you hold grudge, you have just identified with darkness, darkness. minus, mm-hmm. hatred, lesser power. Which one do you choose? Light. Simple approach to win the warfare. Do whatever the Lord, the king has said. In any kingdom, the word of the king is the law. That's the constitution. Now, the next thing there is that you have now the right to command the powers of that kingdom die and neutralize whatever word you use out. The tree planted by devil wither. You now move to call forth that desire you want. You demand it in the name of the Lord. Jupiter. Peter and John did not just move going for prayer. And then say, in the name of Jesus, rise up and walk. No, they dealt with the mountain behind the lame man in their prayer hour time, private prayer before coming. We do not deal with the mountains, yet we come and call for our desire. (laughs) You will never see it. (laughs) Lazarus was never going to come out of any grave if the power of the grave was still active. And that is why with that I don't see anything that will stop our rising to the mountain top of the Lord's availability for you and me. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Every power of the sheep cloth hiding wolf militating that means parading, masquerading around you must die now. Amen. As I'm speaking now by the eyes of the prophetic, the Lord is showing me many wolves in sheep clothing masquerading around you. But as the power of that wolf dies. The power of the mountains behind that wolf hiding, manuscrating around you dies. The wolf must give way. The evil plantation must wither. The hands of evil holding what belongs to you must dry up. Have you ever seen something, some body holding something tight or let's take anything as an animal like a monkey or any living thing holding something 
And when he dies, does he still have does he still hold it? No. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you can go into trying a contest with a chimpanzee mm. to try to pull something from his hand. You know who will win in that kind of uh, battle of pulling, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but let the chimpanzee be struck dead by a bullet. No matter what he was strongly holding from you, will you have difficulty to pull it out? No. So, follow. Kill what is keeping it alive. That's what we're talking about. Kill what is keeping alive the wolf in the sheep cloth in parading around you. And the wolf must give way. There are many wolves in sheep clothing around militating around you mm. militating around was disguiding tonight by the mercies of god i want you to pray this prayer first before we make this remember i said the mountain must speak back mm. the powers must fight back so you don't just command them die and they die or oh, come out and they come out because remember, he gave us the authority to use power to trample upon the evil spirit and their power. So we can command the power to die. It's a right scriptural word to pray. Don't pray for man to die. Don't pray for the witch to die. Don't pray for the wizard to die. Don't pray for your enemy to die. Do what to your enemy? Love him. Love them. When he is who hates you, do what to him? Do good. Pray for him. What prayer? God to forgive him, transform him or her. And then now pray for what to die? The power of witchcraft. Pray for that spirit of witchcraft to be arrested. The manipulation. Because witchcraft spirit, they operate under, they, they operate to manipulate. The, the spirits they are the one that influence the manipulation on your thoughts and the power they activate is the one that does the destruction that's why Christ said trample on the spirit serpent scorpion and then and the best way to trample on them is to do what Christ says hallelujah Amen. go ahead and begin to ask the Lord to forgive as many as you know as enemies Summarily, whoever has done you wrong, oh Lord, forgive whoever has done me wrong. Father, forgive them, transform them for good according to your will. Father, I confess and I repent of every unforgiveness, any grudge, malice, and anything I am keeping in my heart as hatred, bitterness, unforgiveness, or any sin in my life. Go ahead and ask the Lord to forgive you of any sin forgive those who have done you wrong and transform them lift up your voice and pray that prayer before we get to now begin to command the powers of the mountains to die Kaparanto sekele parada. father forgive anyone that has done me wrong for whatever they have done i pray that you forgive them and transform them for good according to your will i pray father that you help me grant me the grace to do good to those who hate me to bless even them who curse me let me not curse them back O oh lord so that i will walk according to your ways and the warfare approach you have described for us as christ in the name of our lord jesus the christ amen hallelujah amen, amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now listen and understand before we're going to command any power of any mountain which is kingdom of darkness masquerading as wolves in sheep clothing within and around me to die. 
so this prayer the prayer point by itself activates a lot of emotional discharge so i want to make sure you are in the right protection because when the mountain fight back you should not be a victim of the counter attack so when you have asked the lord to forgive your enemies you must mean it mm -hmm. christ says bless them that curse you and now watch out you can pray all the prayer and, and kill all the powers and then by the time the next few hours you reinforce the powers mm. by your words that's why he said in that matthew 5 44 love your enemy he did not end there he went ahead to show us how to do it first thing he said bless them that curse you what does that mean to bless you speak words of blessing positive good according to god's will not mm. words that they are cursing you curse words are what negative words and if he now spoke negative and insult you and you say let me give him a piece of my mind you have just re enforced and all brought back to life another power of darkness you just keep and the devil is conscious of what i'm saying now remember christ says when they see it referring to the word of the kingdom which is the words of christ falls on the ground there are birds to pick it right mm -hmm. the devil is not interested to go after any word in the name of his in the bible he's only interested about the words of christ that's why when teachings are based on christ because that's the kingdom message the kingdom is the word of the king any teaching which is strictly in compliance with the teachings of christ the devil is actively present he doesn't send agents on that one that's what christ said the enemy the devil himself this one he doesn't send demons himself is monetary that's why he easily captured people to neutralize back if they are not careful with this question i'm giving you now you can just release all this fire the powers is neutralized you regenerate them back because nothing is permanent it's only conditional or maintained by the conditions once you go and start now after this meeting in the morning somebody just call you somewhere you did nothing wrong just start insulting you <laughs> what is that curse words and who is that person saying those curse words according to christ is that not an enemy an enemy what did christ say you should do back did he say you should justify How much justification when it's not necessarily commanded and led by the Spirit of God can make you become from prison to the Prime Minister? No. Did Joseph need to justify? No. But the nature of man doesn't go well. Even your body as I'm speaking now doesn't accommodate you not. Explain yourself. Is it necessary when the Spirit doesn't demand? So the trap is there. He will activate people as I explained about activating B to attack A. They will maybe some kind of false accusation will just come out. Because a power of the grave was killed by your prayer. And they are looking for a way to bring back another one. So when you now hear any curse word remember this word if you forget anything i pray this will sink in your spirit and in your ears even in your brain now in the name of our lord jesus christ amen if you hear any information after this prayer today insulting see the person as an enemy do what the lord jesus says you should do if you like you say if not of jesus it will be better do what jesus says and say if not of jesus you know that is the meaning to that people are changed most of the times we say we are born again we are just born against the evidence of born again is that you must have so many many things that you used to do that now because you now are following christ's way 
you will see them and say, oh, if not of Jesus. If you are not having those things coming, you are not yet born again. You are just born against. You have just fulfilled a religious practice. The born again experience is a transformation. That's why I say, except a man be born again, he cannot see. Born again makes your eyes of the spirit to open and you begin to see the things you used to do that you consider important. Now, because of Christ, you cannot do them again. If you are not having that experience, there is no transformation of born again in your life. And that's the problem we have. Many, many Christians, yet they are living more worse than the marabouts and the witch doctors with the, in the shrine. As I said many times, there is more evil done with the Bible in the hand and more words of prayer in the mouth than the evil done from the shrine. So, if after you pray, even this prayer tonight, I'm just giving you the information from the spirit. You're going to have a lot of counter attack. They will come through the approach of serpents and scorpion to activate. You see the people as enemies. Do what Christ says. What will Christ have done if he was the one they are insulting now? That is the wisdom of Christ's warfare approach. Always ask, what would Christ have done if he was the one and do you know what Christ would do if he was the one that they are insulting him as they are insulting you now? What will he do? Whatever Christ will do if you is in that situation you are now is what he said in his word that we should do. He cannot do different from what he said we should do because in his word you will see what he did which is reported and what he told us to do. That is what it means. So always that consciousness the Holy Spirit will bring to you. He said I should love them. And he said how do I love them? They will curse me. Oh. The person is cursing, insulting. Just say God bless you. Maybe you can say if he's accused you say I'm sorry. God bless you. You are not supposed to speak contrary because you will be bringing yourself low to his level if you speak uh -huh. curse. He's already down by cursing. Do you prefer to wear a white shirt and go and be mixing yourself with the pig in the mud? <laughs> no, sir. So if the pig is following you, won't you just run away? Yeah. And you go stand now. When you are, the white said we are doing boxing with the pig. <laughs> Did you now see why Christ said you don't give golden rings to pearls? I mean, you don't take a pearl and give it to swine? You don't give what is holy to dogs. Yes. When you insult people back because they insult you, you are just giving what is holy to dogs. Mm. So remember these things will come as I'm telling you now because I know the prayer we are going to pray now. Not many prayer points. When the powers are dead, you are released. And I'm already seeing their network of reinforcement. So watch out and take note. If you hear anything, do what Christ said. Bless them. Speak words of blessing. Yes. It's common for us to do good to people even when they hate us. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, very easy for us to speak back curses when they speak curses against us. That means the mouth is faster to react than action. So most times, that's why James says, if you are able to not be defiled in your words, then you, you are, your religion is considered pure. The words. Maybe one old man or one somebody somewhere who just call you after this prayer. Please remember Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. I'm begging you in the name of God so that my time is not wasted in what we are doing here now because the only blessing i have from you even if you give me offering all those one doesn't really count it is the testimony of what the power of christ is doing in your life by what you are learning matthew, matthew chapter 5 verse 44 that is the reason why every one of you who doesn't have my book all things are possible you are not helping yourself every time hearing me talking about that because i have by the grace of God, explain more detail of the importance of this aspect of the practice of love and forgiveness in that book. So that is what mostly the forces of darkness do. They mobilize 
back by influencing people to provoke challenge. Hallelujah. Amen. Whenever the devil wants to sustain any attack or anything about a man, he must establish it by using another man. As long as Adam was alone in the symbol of human creation, there was nowhere anywhere Adam fell. The day another human being was made, the Bible says trouble came. The devil now who has been hunting, looking for a way to bring down Adam, never succeeded. He succeeded the day he found some other human being. And remember, that human being was also in the physical body like Adam. <laughs> Did you see the theory of wolves in sheep clothing? He may even be your best friend. He may even be your closest brother that will be used. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say loud and clear. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, Thank Jesus. You, Lord Jesus. For the authority you have given to me. For the authority, For the authority you, have you have given to me. To use your name. To use your to name. Use your to name. command and demand anything. To command and demand anything. According to the will of the Father. According, According to, the to the will of the Father. Thank you, Lord, that as I demand now. Thank you, Lord, that I can demand now. And command anything in your name. And command anything in your name. It shall be done. It shall be done. I believe your word, Lord Jesus. I believe your word, Lord Jesus. That whatever I ask in your name. That whatever I ask in your name. Even as I'm going to ask now. Even as I'm going to ask now. Shall be done. Shall be done. I believe your word, Lord Jesus. I believe your word. Lord Jesus. That if I cast out devils or demons in your name, they shall go. I believe that in the name of the Lord Jesus, any power of darkness I command to die, they shall die. They shall be nullified and neutralized. Every mountain of any kind of darkness that I command to come out to the sea level, they shall go down to the sea level by their powers being neutralized. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you, Almighty Father. For acknowledging yourself in your Son Jesus Christ. And according to the word that whatever I ask in his name shall be done. For you, Father, to be glorified in the Son. Therefore, my Father, whatever I ask now, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord, that it shall be done. And you shall be glorified in your Son, Jesus the Christ. I thank you, Father, even as the Lord Jesus said. Whatever I ask you in his name, you shall give it. Father, even as I pray now, I ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to give to me now every information I need to bring down the mountains of darkness standing against my breakthrough and advancement. My Father, even as I pray now, I ask you to reveal to me now whatever I need to do for the powers of these kingdoms of darkness to die, to be neutralized and vanish completely. I ask you, Father, to reveal to 
me now. I ask you, Father, to reveal to me now whatever I need to do to get my desired breakthroughs, to call forth my Lazarus out of the grave in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Father, I have asked in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I believe you have given to me now as I have asked. And I believe you have given to me now as I have asked. I receive all that I have asked you, Father. I receive all that I have asked you. Thank you for giving them to me now. Thank you for giving them to me now. Be thou exalted and magnified forever. Be thou exalted and magnified forever. O Lord God Almighty Father. O Lord God Almighty Father. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. I just received a message now from a vision I'm seeing. So the prayer point I was wanting to pray for us to pray before the Lord is just bringing me something now. And I want you to know what God is saying. You are going to command the power holding down any wealth the powers holding back or holding down any wealth or holding wealth Word. that wealth, wealth, resources, money whatever thank you call you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. the power holding back wealth, money yeah. that's supposed to belong to you Amen. that's what I just saw now I saw the grave of Lazarus holding money and the Lord is saying the same way the grave was holding Lazarus that was supposed to be alive, walking. That is the same way money that is in the hands of satanic agents is the same as money, is the same as Lazarus in the grave. The same hands are holding what belongs to you. So there are powers. So we're going to pray this now as the first prayer. Say every power, every, every power, power of any mountain, of, of any mountain, of the kingdoms of darkness, of the kingdoms of darkness, every power, every power from the mountains, from the mountains, all the kingdoms of darkness, all the kingdoms of darkness, holding what belongs to me, holding what belongs, to me, holding my money, holding my money, the powers of the grave, the powers of the grave, keeping the the resources, the resources, the wealth, the, wealth, the, riches, the riches, to be used for God's purpose. The powers, the powers keeping them in the grave. I command you to die. I command you to die. I command you to die. 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 In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Makapalu si te kapala yanda parado zeke te pa. The authority is given already. Exercise it by His name. Command the power in the name of the Lord Jesus to die. Every power of the grave holding back what belongs to you. That power holding your wealth, your money, your riches must die now to give up that power. To give up that riches. All the powers, spirits of any kind, holding wealth and resources to be used or used for evil purposes, used for terrorism, kidnapping, used for criminality. All those powers are the powers of the grave. That is money and resources in the grave. Now you're going to pray the prayer again as I live with, with you. Pray with all the strength of your spirit. Pray with all your heart and all your mind and all your strength. 
in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Somebody say a loud amen. Amen. Somebody say a louder amen. Amen. Somebody shout louder glory. 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 To the Lamb of God. And to the Father, Father who is seated on the throne. Glory be to you, Lord God Almighty. The ancient of days. And the Lamb that seated upon the throne. In the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. No power can resist that name. At the mention of the name Jesus, every knee bow, every power die. Contrary to the spirit of God. Now you are going to address the power because I see powers holding back what belongs to you. If you can point your right index finger, point it by faith as addressing the power as you are seen with the eyes of your spirit in the spirit. And say, you powers, you powers, holding back, holding back, what belongs to me, what belongs to me, you powers, you powers, of the powers and forces of darkness, of the powers and forces of darkness, holding back what belongs to me, holding back what belongs to me, you powers. Of the enemy, the enemy, holding back what belongs to me, holding back what belongs holding to back me. my money, holding back my, holding back my resources, holding back my resources, holding back my health, holding back my, holding back my, holding back my peace, holding back my peace, holding back my well being, holding back my well being, the powers of the enemy. Holding back what belongs to me. Holding back what belongs to me. Keeping my Lazarus in the grave. Keeping my Lazarus in the grave. I command you power. I command you power. Die now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and make that declaration. Command the powers to die. The powers holding back my head. Die now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The power holding back my breakthroughs, my money, my wealth, my resources. The power holding back my business and slowing down my business. Die now. Die now. Die now. Die now. Die, die, die. Be neutralized. Kabako, command the powers to die. Authority in the name of the Lord Jesus is to trample upon powers of darkness. Is to trample upon the power of the enemy. Ah, Baba, Liandi Karabra Kotele, Eberadian de Galagadia da Cadogo Lebra Cade Galaba, Sia Caparado Cotele Bara, Powers of my enemies die, 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 and set my enemies loose to be delivered. Kabaronte Kata, spirits of divination, spirits of darkness, serpents and scorpions. Using my enemy or anyone against me, come out. Bokopa katale katali ada katale bra katale ba isia katole ba. That power keeping back from you what belongs to you must die now. That power holding back your head must die now. That power holding back your words. Your progress, that power holding back your breakthrough, that power of that mountains of darkness behind the tree of unfruitfulness, holding back your fruit of salvation, must die, die now. Let the powers be neutralized. Kapalon de Catalia. De Cotele Baran de Catele, Ebreyan de Cataria Catele Baragate Gaba. Somebody is praying a prayer. 
Command those powers to die. Pray and clap your hands if you can pray. Kabalunte, Bakante, Kabanti. Pray and clap your hands. Command the powers to die. Every power holding back, holding down what belongs to me. Keeping my Lazarus in the grave. That power holding my peace and joy in my home. Die. That power holding back my wealth and resources, my riches. That power holding back my reward. Die. That power holding back my breakthrough. Die now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. That power holding back my destiny help us from locating me. Die now in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Kamba kote ese kapalate opoko parakatele barakatele barakate command the powers to die they must be neutralized shigolo baragadi gala baragadia that power holding back my money holding back my finances my resources stealing them from me through any form of manipulations Thou powers die now, you powers of darkness. Thou powers behind the thief, stolen, stealing my money in all forms of manipulations. Die now. Jacob Pare, I trample upon you, powers of darkness. Powers of my enemies, I trample upon you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thou power holding back my divine health. Thou power resisting my total healing from infirmity. Die now. Die now. Commander power holding back your healing to die now. Commander power holding back your divine health to give way. Die now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Commander power resisting your destiny help us to die now. Commander power holding back the financial help us appointed to your life. That power manipulating someone against you die. In the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ we are praying. Hey, louder, hey, amen. Amen. The loudest, amen. Amen. A mighty thunderous hallelujah. Hallelujah. The powers of darkness holding back what belongs to you are dead. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, I command and I decree and I put a seal with your agreement. That power holding back your healing for total healing and divine health. I command that power die finally now. Amen. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That power of darkness causing you to remain in that infirmity. That power reinforcing weakness is upon your legs. I command that power of infirmity die now. Amen. I command that power robbing you of that breakthrough of your healing and wholeness to die now. Amen. That power manipulating your finances. That power stealing your money, your wealth, your finances uh, through manipulations of true human agents. Uh, I command the power using anyone to steal your resources, your money, your wealth. I command the power to die now. Amen. With your agreement, I declare the powers dead. Amen. As you believe by the blood of Jesus, they are dead. Amen. As you have believed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, they are dead. Amen. Now the power is dead. Amen. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. I see people jumping out. I see people jumping out that the powers of darkness held them down in their head. I see legs being scattered that were tied by rope. I see rope scattered. Amen. Now listen. My eyes are open and I'm seeing so many, many, many things now. And this is what the Lord is saying. According to that Luke chapter, please, somebody, you are having noise. If you are driving a car, and there's noise. Please, you put your device on mute if you are having noise in the background. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what the Lord now wants us to pray in the same vein of power. He said, the authority and power in his name is for us to trample that means to kill the power of the enemy Amen. trample serpents and scorpions the witchcraft spirits the spirits behind the operation and i've explained to easily trample on the spirits Command them be arrested. Command them be disarmed because spirit cannot die. But the power will die. They will not be able to pray. But spirit can be arrested. But the easiest way to trample on spirits is to just do what Christ says. They cannot. But this is what the Lord is showing me and what we are going to pray now. Somebody say amen. Amen. Shout glory. 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 He said the power and authority in the name of the Lord Jesus we should use it against the power of what? The enemy. Power of who? The enemy. Power of who? The enemy. Power of who? The enemy. Did you now see why he said you should love your enemy? Mm-hmm. What is the revelation there? Everyone you see as an enemy against you there is a power he has yes. so forget about him do what he said you should do for that enemy love him pray for him do good to him bless him but trample on the power it means every action of your enemy there is a power behind the action and once you trample on the power he can now become your friend he can assist and serve you inside the enemy of the lord then called saul there was a power from the spirit of religion religious mm. spirit carries the most dangerous power because religious spirit manipulate to behave like the kingdom of god that's why religious Christians are more dangerous than witch doctors in the shrine. Yes, yes. That's why religious Christians and their pastors are more dangerous than the worst satanic agents. Because the spirit of religion has a power that made Paul to be Saul, then to be too zealous and now became an enemy of who? Christ came an enemy of the body of Christ. Remember when Christ came to him, he did not say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute my disciples? Is that what he said? No. He did not say, Saul, Saul, why do you persecute the believers? Is that what he said? No. What did he say? Why do you persecute who? Me. So who was Saul then? The enemy of Christ right the enemy of your body is it not your enemy yes so what did christ do he trampled on the power that is what he's teaching us what he showed us in that luke 10 19. so he demonstrated it after he has died and resurrected many years on paul 
the power that this enemy of mine called Saul, which is emanating from the serpents and scorpions known as religious spirit, let me trample on that power. Now when I kill that power, the enemy Saul will become my servant. Amen. <laughs> Somebody enemy. Today, as you oh. kill the power behind that enemy Amen. and follow the ways of Christ, will become your friend and serve you Amen. like Paul serving Amen. Jesus Christ Amen. because that enemy will be transformed Amen. in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now said and done, say loud and clear with the voice of thunder, the power, the power of my enemies. Of my enemy. Die now. Die now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The powers. The powers. Using anyone against me. Using anyone against me. I come against you now. I come against you now. In the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. According to the word of the Lord Jesus. According to the word of the Lord Jesus. That has given me authority. Given me authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions, trample upon serpents and scorpions, and over the power of the enemy, and over the power of the enemy, by the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus, by the authority in the name of the Lord Jesus, I trample upon you, trample upon you, powers of my enemies, powers of my enemies, I trample upon you, trample upon you, powers, using people against me people against in, the in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ Makuse ke palarori abagadi gazia makote lembra kata now listen 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 hallelujah Amen. a lot of you you will have to stop today bothering about those people troubling you you have to do what Christ says according to Matthew chapter 5 verse 44. And if you don't have my book, All Things Are Possible, I advise you not to be robbing yourself of the blessing of that grace in that wisdom, in that book, All Things Are Possible. Try and get a copy anyhow you can get it. Amen. Listen and understand. Forget about the enemies. This revelation is very, very actively fresh now as I'm hearing. That is behind every man who is against you, there is a power which is invisible. And that is the power in the name of Jesus we have the right to confront. Two things. There is behind any oppression of any man against you who is an enemy, there are evil spirits. Or there is, a, there is an evil spirit or evil spirits as serpents or scorpions and there is a power now you can cast the spirits out in the name of the Lord Jesus and you can trample and kill the neutralize the power then that enemy will become like Saul blind did you see anymore he will not be able to operate again that which is doing against you. He will only be left with one option. What is the option? To save him. To repent so that he can be transformed from Saul to Paul. So now, understanding that every time you see a man or any person does anything wrong against you just remember what you have just heard now there are some serpents and scorpions or serpents or scorpions or evil spirits with their powers behind that evil work against you but in the name of the lord jesus the authority has been given to us in that name the authority is in the power of the word of god the word of the king the lord jesus can you believe luke 10 19 that's why the disciples he was talking there were not just the 12 that would have said well it's only the 12 he said the other 70 and every of the disciples he sent 
He said, in your name. So every spirit, sometimes whenever you see a man do some, doing something wrong against you, if you have the opportunity, look for somewhere and rebuke the spirit using that man against you. If you don't have the opportunity to find somewhere to make that declaration, declare that even in your heart. There's a serpent or scorpions or boat behind the operation, evil spirit. That is what Christ is saying for me to tell you now. Many of you listening to me with the pile of animosity of grudges against those people because of what you say they have done or what they told you they did. You are robbing yourself of the breakthrough. There is a spirit. There is a power to be trampled upon. Hallelujah. Amen. They are supposed to be to your plus by being transformed and be converted to become your best friends and even serve you or serve Amen. with you. Like Saul Amen. becoming Paul to serve Jesus Christ. That is what is prophesied upon you this morning. All Amen. your human enemies shall become your friends and serve with you or serve you for your glorious manifestation in the name of our lord jesus christ amen set the powers, the powers. using anyone against me using anyone against me the powers, the powers. of the evil spirits operating through anyone against me as the powers of my enemies I command you powers of my enemies die now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ I command you evil spirit using my enemies against me come out of my enemies now come out of the enemy my enemies now in the name of the lord jesus the christ now listen before you pray that prayer as i leave it with you the serpent or scorpion as the spirit of divination was in a damsel against paul yet the words that were coming out they sounded like good words remember the story in acts chapter 16 but now paul going to attack the enemy who is the damsel the spirit of divination will move from the damsel to another person and still deal with Paul. Let me tell you what that means. Hallelujah. Amen. Why will an evil spirit as the spirit of divination speaking words that sound outwardly good and well to a servant of Christ an opposite spirit of Christ's spirit speaking well did we know the devil and all his network of evil spirit are known as what the chief the devil the father their father is what the chief of all what lies, lies. speaking what sounds good in the mouth is a deceptive action to keep paul having crowd but no impact of transformation in them many many soul churches and crusades is the spirit of divination behind because most people have been carried away with mundanism and materialism which through that they can gather crowd they make all the adverts have all the people do all the thing and the people will think that is the holy spirit at work whereas spirit of divination the spirit of divination will inspire you also preach an inspired message. The spirit of divination will inspire you also preach a motivational message. We will know what spirit is active by the transformation of the life because that is what the spirit of serpents and scorpions cannot do. 
is the life of those people being transformed or is the same circle over and over in the same deliverance, the same every day? You can know what spirit is behind there. If the Bible did not have the record that by the spirit of discernment or descending of spirit, Paul was able to descend and that action to be the spirit of divination and rebuke it. They interview me and you and almost everybody or Christians, every Christian, more than 90% will say that damsel was a mighty woman of God. <laughs> Could even be the one in the front row as the usher organizing. Don't you see the many in your churches? Is your life being transformed for good? Then you can know which spirits are work. You cannot know what is behind as the spirit in the words and not alone. Because when you see the word, you hear, sorry, when you hear the word sounds good, what will you say? Great child of God. Is that true? Mm -hmm. What was the spirit inside? Is that not, was it not a wolf? But the power of that spirit and the authority in the name of Jesus to cast out that spirit, did Paul need to take permission from her? Mm -mm. You need somebody's permission to deliver the person. But you don't need any witch or wizard permission who is in your jurisdiction to cast out the spirit of witchcraft from him. Because as far as Paul was the one that was the custodian of that jurisdiction, anybody who came there, whether you liked to be delivered or not, if there is an evil spirit, whatever Paul doesn't want, he, he cast it out in the name of Jesus, he will go. So that's the authority we have in that name. He said, Amen. in my name you shall do what? Cast out cast devil. Out he didn't say you shall cast out the devil when the witch wants you to cast the devil out. Mm -mm. Did he say you shall cast out the demons when the person want? Mm -mm. Because remember, that demon casting out is from people, not from things. So he said you shall cast out devils, you are casting them out from people. When demons go and look for dry places, if they find it, they don't have any problem. But they, they cannot always be comfortable to stay in dry the places. They must want people. So when Christ says cast, you don't we don't have any negotiation as long as you are within your territory. Anything that is not of the right spirit can must be cast out. Amen. Any damsel, any woman, Amen. any man, anybody, anywhere yeah. carrying the spirits of darkness, carrying the spirit contrary to the spirit of your God against you, let the spirit right now come out. Let Amen. the powers behind such one die in the yeah. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Let the spirit in anyone against the spirit of your God within and around you come out in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Let the powers of any evil spirit in anyone within and around you die in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Say the powers of my enemies. The powers of my enemies. Die. Die. I command you. I command you. Powers. Powers of my enemies. Of my enemies. I command you. I command you. Powers of darkness. Powers of darkness. Using anyone against me. Using anyone against me. I command you. I command you. Powers of darkness. Powers of darkness. Using anyone. Using anyone against the will of God. Against the will of God. Concerning my life. Concerning my loved ones. Concerning my loved ones. Concerning God's people. Concerning God's people. I command you powers. I command you powers of darkness. Of darkness. Die. 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 In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I command you, evil spirits, spirit of divination, spirits of darkness, spirit of fear, 
Spirit, Spirit of manipulation in anyone against the Spirit of my God. I command you that Spirit. Come on. Come on. Come out of my enemies and let them be delivered in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The powers walking through anyone against me. Die. Die. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Copala da 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 Pray, pray, pray. Command the power using anyone, any institution, any system against you to die. I see powers behind institutions uh, against people. I see powers behind banking institution, behind credit card companies against your finances. Command those powers operating through credit card companies against you to die, to die, to die, to die. Against the finances of my children. Every power behind any institution or anyone against the will of God for my life, all my loved ones, my wife, my children, my family. I command the power to die now. I command you power, die, die, die. Angels of war, let every power using anyone against me die now. Jehovah God, in the name of Jehovah Sabwa, the Lord God, the captain of the armies of heaven. Command the powers using any damsel, using any boy, using any girl, using any man or woman against you. Let the power die. In the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm receiving a, an information now. There's a word of knowledge coming. Is there anybody there actively online having a case concerning property with someone? Yes. Anyone having a case concerning property or whatever belongs to, to, to someone? Yes. Yes. I, yes. The Lord is showing me that the powers of darkness and the one using that person to rob you of that property but you should be rest assured as you have prayed and you continue to pray in that direction that any power trying holding back what belongs to you die and therefore whatever belongs to you you will call it forth now it must be given to you in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. so i want you to take note of that direction from that word of knowledge but we're going to pray another one the lord is showing me now i see the powers of darkness operating from the banking institution particularly credit cards and loan companies yeah. against your finances yeah. there are powers behind most of those credit card companies there are powers I personally was used by God to go in one credit card company office and I saw their live idol altar in their office in the main lobby. Hmm. Now, to show you how that was serious, I had nothing to do with that credit card company going there for anything. I was actually checking, looking for an address for some reason. Why? finding searching the address i went to that place thinking it was the address as i entered there and i asked then i realized that they said it was a credit card company but now i was asking myself what the lord was directing me where i was going how did i find myself in that place and the holy spirit quickly brought to my attention did you see the altar the idol and it sounds normal in a professional business cooperative office and the lord said to me 
the question you have before because I had that question was when I counsel certain people one person is having eight credit cards and he's owing all of them to pay he's indebted he can't pay how did it come to this stage and that question was answered that day by that experience <laughs> somebody say hallelujah Hallelujah. the Lord said did you see even that their altar is brought alive these are the powers moving as a spirit of manipulation to move and capture people to come to take those credit cards those same powers behind making sure they don't pay them on time so that they constantly pay interest and interest and interest It's easy to think that you can pay it. But when there are powers and you are a victim of some of the institutions that have these powers behind them, <laughs> you wouldn't even understand though you still have the money, you didn't pay the balance. Because they cannot make money if you are paying the balance on time. So you live your life paying their interest walking behind walking for them but the lord is telling me and showing me that there are powers so i want you to pray now say every power every power now say after this say after me loud and clear say oh lord god jehovah support oh lord god jehovah support you who is the captain you who is the captain of the host of heaven of the host of heaven the captain of the armies of heaven the captain of the armies of heaven oh lord god almighty jehovah sabaoth oh lord god almighty jehovah sabaoth oh lord jehovah sabaoth oh lord jehovah sabaoth by your manifested name by your manifested name jesus the christ jesus the christ let every power let every power behind any institution behind any institution behind the credit card companies behind the credit card companies, against my finances against my finances oh lord jehovah sabaoth oh lord jehovah let the power let the powers die now. Let the powers die now. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jehovah Sabbath. By the power of your manifested name. Jesus the Christ. Let every spirit. Serpent or scorpion. Every evil spirit, every evil spirit, operating through any institution, operating through any institution, manipulating me against my finances, manipulating me against my, manipulating me against my wealth and resources, manipulating me against my wealth. Oh Lord Jehovah Sabaoth, oh Lord Jehovah Sabaoth, let all those spirits be arrested now by fire. Let the spirits be arrested. Now by, fire. Let the be now by fire. Let the spirit be arrested now by fire. And let them lose their grip over my finances. Let them lose their grip over my wealth. Let them lose their grip over my life. Let them lose their grip over my money. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jehovah Sabaoth, oh Lord Jehovah Sabaoth, by your manifested name, by your manifested name, Jesus the Christ, Jesus the Christ, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, let every unnecessary credit card, let every unnecessary credit card, in my keeping, in my keeping, be cancelled now, I cancel them now. Help me, Lord, Help me, Lord. To, cancel every loan. to cancel every loan, every credit card, every credit card. inspired 
by evil spirit. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Jehovah Sabbath. Let the powers behind the oppression die. And let the spirits in action be arrested by fire. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Amen. Thank you, Father. Amen. Thank you, Father. Set Thank your you. people free from the powers behind credit cards and loan companies manipulating and stealing the finances of people. E bracodi ande la ra bracasele ada brea cotele gradia catale a bracotele abra e cre catare bracotele abra cata pray 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 let the powers behind the loan and credit card companies that are stealing and manipulating our finances let the powers die let all the evil spirit of their idols be arrested by fire under the leadership of jehovah Sabbath. in the name of our lord jesus the christ by the blood of jesus let it be done in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we are free. Amen. Now you that the powers of darkness, the forces of darkness, principalities, and all evil spirits, serpents, and scorpions are using that man or that woman disputing with you concerning your wealth and riches i command by the authority and the power of jehovah sabbath the lord the captain of the armies of heaven by his manifested name jesus the christ i command those powers operating behind that man disputing with your world riches property let the powers with your agreement die finally now in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. i declare those powers of darkness operating through that person that woman that man disputing with you on your wealth and property before jehovah god of the truth knowing that that is your property i command those powers die now in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. all the spirits operating through those ones empowering that power against you i command the spirits by the leading of jehovah's Sabbath, be arrested by fire be arrested by fire Amen. be arrested Amen. by fire Amen. and be reserved in everlasting judgments in chains in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. O oh Lord Jehovah, support by your descendants and manifestation, by your name, Jesus the Christ. Let it be so. Let it be so. Amen. Let that which belongs to your children, even as they have prayed now, be released back to them. Amen. I call for that which belongs to you. Take your property. Take your word. Take your resources. Amen. You are taking back what belongs to you. Whatever dispute, whatever judgment, Take that which belongs to you. Amen. You shall not plant and another one harvest. Amen. You shall reap the fruit of your harvest. Amen. For it is written, whatever a man soweth, so shall he reap. Amen. The fruit of that seed you sow, no one shall eat it. I decree by the decree of the washer, so it is stamped by the blood. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Under the leadership of Jehovah Sabbath, the captain of the armies of heaven, all the spirits are under arrest. In the Amen. name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. By the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Now, we're going to pray. You have commanded the powers of the grave to die. Your Lazarus is ready now in the great grave. You have to call that Lazarus to your bosom. Amen. You have to call your blessings to you. You have to call whatsoever you desire when you pray. Now you're going to place the demand of that which you desire to locate you. Comfort, comfort. My desired breakthrough, my wealth, my riches, my health, my peace. Whatever was stolen held back from me by these powers of the enemy, by these powers of darkness. Now the powers are dead. By faith, as you believe it, they are dead in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. By the blood of Jesus, it is sealed. The powers behind that which is held from you, they are dead in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Now the Lazarus is ready to be called out of the grave. Your wealth manipulated, stolen, money, riches in the hands of satanic agents, money safe, wealth stored to be used for evil, for criminality, for terrorism, for killings, for abortions, all that are money in the grave. Do you know how many billions they use only in maybe one year? for terrorism in the world do you know how much billions are used unnecessarily in the wars in ukraine the wars all over the world all that is the same like lazarus in the grief yet lazarus supposed to be alive walking doing what is good the money the resources of gods are intended created by god to be used for his purpose and if the world and all the resources according to psalms 24 verse 1 the earth is the lord's and the fullness thereof the world and all that dwell in including all the riches are of god if all the world and riches created are of god your father whose children are supposed to control it is it supposed to be used for killing people no. Is it supposed to be used for terrorism? Is no. it supposed to be used for manipulation, corruption, fraud, injustice all over the place, rigging no. of elections? All usage, all forms of using money for anything contrary to God's will is the same as a dead Lazarus in the grave. Mm. But Lazarus only remain in the grave as long as those who call themselves Christians fail to walk in the ways of Christ because you can't bring Lazarus out of the grave until you are walking in Christ's ways. You can't bring Lazarus in the grave if you are practicing Moses against Christ and you are praying the prayers of Moses contrary to the prayers of Christ. Lazarus cannot come out of the grave. So the reason why we have Christians in any place in the world who claim to be disciples or followers of Christ, yet a lot of wealth and resources is used for evil purposes. It's because 90 something percent of so called confessed Christ people, Christians, do not practice Christ. Is there any record in the Bible where any power of any man brought back somebody to life after four days in the grave? The only person that can do it is Christ. What does that mean? That Christ is his word you practice. So we cannot, but now you're going to call for Lazarus. And I pray you maintain to walk the ways of that Christ, especially according to the injunction for us to trample, kill the power of the enemy, not the enemy. For us to love the enemy and every human being. That Lazarus must come out. What's the voice of Christ? When you command your desired breakthrough, your wealth, your riches, your health to come out, when you command money and resources in the hands of evil purposes, in the storehouse, warehouses for terrorists and evil plants, when you command it to come out to your bosom, in the name of the Lord Jesus, the same way the voice of a dead Lazarus heard that voice of that Jesus, they will hear your voice in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
And once ever the voice of Jesus is heard, whatever is dead must come back to life. Every Amen. dry bone must come back to life. Amen. He said, look Amen. at the dry bones and speak to it now. Let me ask you a question. If you read that account in Ezekiel, it was God telling Ezekiel, who now, what did you see? Ezekiel saw dry bones, right? Who told Ezekiel to command the dry bones to come back to life? God. So, why will he ask Ezekiel to speak? Could he not just bring the dry bones back to life? Mm. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As long as Lazarus was ready to come out of the grave, if there's no someone in the name of Jesus the Christ to call that Lazarus, he will remain in the grave. Yes. Though God already released power for the dry bones to come back to life, they will remain dry bones until some man speak. Though the powers holding back what belongs to you have been dead, though the mountains have been removed, though the spirit behind them are rested, that breakthrough, that you are healing, that you are deliverance, that you are prosperity, that you are wealth, that you are riches, will still remain in the grave until you call it forth. So now is the last prayer point we have to pray. And I want you to know whatever you desire that is robbed. If you are in business, those who are customers held from you, those who are clients held from you, you don't know that the same approach here, Lazarus held in the grave, your world, all those things, there are powers and spirits that will stand in front of your business. To make sure when the customer is coming, they scan this customer from afar and deviate him to go somewhere else. There are spirits leading people to your account. That's why I told people always pray and cover all your accounts bank accounts, phones, contact, email address, any account you in social media things you have, always cover them with the blood. There are spirits using these things, these are all instruments they use against you. But the powers are dead by your faith in the prayer we have prayed so now it's time to call that desired Lazarus that desired Lazarus for you is what is that breakthrough you are expecting what is that breakthrough you are expecting not ask God to give it to you now, no God has already given you what he needed, we ask him to give us the information, that's why he's giving to me this words of knowledge Amen. remember that these are not prayer points that I wrote or premeditated on where are they coming from? Because we ask him to give us what we need to know and do. And he tell us, so you apply what he has given. Amen. Jesus did not say, oh my father, raise Lazarus from the dead. Is that what he prayed? He did not say, pray, ask the father to remove the mountain from you. Is that what he said? So the same way you remove the mountain, the evil trees, unfruitful trees wither, the fruitful trees, you have to plant them for them to grow. You have to call for the Lazarus. You have to call for your desired breakthrough. Now, you know your desired breakthrough and I leave you the prayer you mentioned them. Say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name, in the of, the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. By the blood of the Lamb. By the, the blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The evidence of my victory. The evidence of my victory. The evidence of our redemptive blessings. The evidence of our redemptive blessings. The blood of the Lamb. The blood of the Lamb. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. I call for I call for my desired breakthroughs to locate me now to locate me now I call you for I call you for my desired breakthroughs my desired breakthroughs come forth to me now to me now and be loose from any grip from keeping you in chains, keeping you in chains. Tying, you to tying you not to function perfectly my healing my, healing. my, 
divine heart. My divine heart. Come forth. Come forth. My money. My money. My wealth. My wealth. My resources. My resources. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. Come forth. To me. To me. For my use to the glory of God in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead and begin to call for your desired breakthrough. Go ahead and call it forth. Call for that Lazarus of yours. Call for whether it's health, whether it's healing for your body, healing for your soul, even for the broken hearted. They were healed. Call for that desired breakthrough. I call for my stolen wealth. I call for all my monies that have been stolen to locate me now. I call for all my customers to locate me now. I call for all my customers, all my destiny helpers. Come forth to me now and be loose and be loose to function. Be loose for my help. Be loose now. You, my destiny helpers, come forth. You, my money and my world, come forth. Be loose for my use. Be loose for my use to the glory of God. Be loose. Be loose. Calabare, call forth that which you desire. Is it healing? Call it forth. Is it divine help? Call it forth. Is it peace? Call it forth. Is it material wealth, resources? Call it forth. Alate kaparate ekeledi andeleria barate katale. I call forth all my money that has been stolen through all forms of manipulation. I call it forth. Koparande sekele prakatale andelereba. All my money stolen by credit cards, loan, institution, by demonic manipulative spirit. Come forth and locate me now. Come forth and be loose for my use now. All my money, wealth, material resources, wherever you have been held back, stolen, kept in any grave. Come forward and be loose for my use to the glory of God. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ, we have prayed. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ, we have prayed. Amen. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus the Christ, we have prayed. Amen. Shout the loudest, Amen. Amen. Shout the loudest, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout the most loudest, Glory to Jesus, the King of Kings. Glory to Jesus, the King of Kings. Shout the loudest, Glory to the Father, the Ancient of Days. Glory to the Father, the Ancient of Days. Shout the most loudest, Glory to the Holy Ghost. Thank you for moving by your power. Thank you for moving by your power. Continue to move to execute my decrees and declaration. Continue to move and execute all my proclamation. To you, O Lord God Almighty. To you, O Lord God Almighty. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Be all the glory. Be all the glory. Honor. Honor. Adoration. 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 Now and forevermore. Now and forevermore. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Almighty Father. Thank you, Almighty Father. Amen. Amen. So we come to the end of the prayers. And I want you to now agree with me and put a seal in this prayer point. We're going to agree 
all the resources that means wealth material or physical resources you can call it in symbolism money or finances kept to be used for on Christly purposes all the resources and wealth or all the resources money kept whether in the bank or warehouse storehouse to be used for that which is contrary to the will of God we're going to come and call it forth to God's people to God's servants and be loose to be used for God's purpose. Amen. Every money or resources. Now as I'm speaking, there's a lot of huge bank accounts in some people account. The intention is to use it to sponsor wars and killings. Now as I'm speaking, there's a lot of resources in many people accounts is to use it cause abortions unnecessarily. Now as I'm speaking, there's a lot of wealth and money and resources to be used and used by terrorists. The power of God under the leading of Jehovah Sabbath will conduct the armies of heaven to transfer it to the hands of those who have God's purpose mission in need of money for application because all God resources are intended to be used for God's purpose is that true yes so let us pray wherever you are lift up your right hand in agreement with me oh Lord Jehovah Sabbath Oh, we stand in agreement as your children. We stand in agreement as your children. We ask you in your manifested name. We ask you in your manifested name. Jesus the Christ. Jesus the Christ. Let all the resources. Let all the resources. The money. The, money. the material and physical wealth. The material and physical wealth. In any bank. In any bank. Any, any bank. store or warehouse. Any store or warehouse. All the resources. All the resources. Kept to be used. Kept to be used. For evil purposes. For evil purposes. Let them be transferred now. Let them be transferred now. Into the hands into the hands of your servants, of your servants with mission and purpose, with mission and purpose in need of resources. In need of resources. In the name that is above all other names. In the name that is above all other names. The name of Jesus the Christ. The name of Jesus the Christ. Let it be done now, Lord. Let it be done now. Let it be done now, Lord. Let it be done now, Lord. Let all the resources. Let all the resources. The money and finances. The material and physical wealth. The material and physical wealth. Kept to be used. Kept to be used. For abortions. For abortions. Unnecessary. Really. Kept, to be used kept to be used for terrorism, for, terrorism. for killings, for, for rigging of elections, for, for, election. for kidnappings, for kidnapping. all, the all the resources kept in any bank, kept in any bank. Or, yeah. any or any storehouse or any warehouse, or any warehouse. Kept, to kept to be used for purposes, for purposes. contrary to your will. Contrary Let to them be transferred now. Let them be transferred now. Into the hands. Into the storehouse. Into the accounts of your servants with divine mission and purpose. In need of money for accomplishment. 
In need of resources for accomplishment. Let them be transferred into our bosom. Let them be transferred into my hands. Into our hands. To be used for your purpose. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord Father, as we pray, let the transfer begin to take place now in speed. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. You can go ahead and lift up your voice and pray as the Lord give you utterance. You can keep down your hands and lift your voice and pray. Keep down your hands, lift up your voice and pray for the transfer of all the wealth, all the resources, material and financial resources, all monetary and financial resources, all material, physical, financial resources kept to be used for unchristly purposes, to be used for killings, kidnappings, terrorism, unnecessary abortions to be used for stealing or rigging of elections to be used for all ungodly practices my father empowered your angels oh jehovah Sabbath, lead the host of heaven for the transfer to come to us now you are chosen one let them be transferred to the chosen one now let the angels of the transfer be empowered let the angels of the transfer be empowered to win every battle to overcome all satanic traffic and locate us and transfer claborate keseaka paroteka barariro to cobra eliaran de kata ebrariando loroba ebrakatelia let the transfer be done now kabaradian de leria seketelian de calabra Cose que te lea para de Shekle que te liba Clebra cotele ribara Pray, 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 pray Solo de ria la 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 Malarute que preado Ebra catalera By faith We receive The transfer Wealth from the store or warehouses of satanic agents to the chosen one. Thank you, Father. I receive your word. Riches transferred in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. They are being transferred. Amen. By the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, all the material and financial resources are being transferred. Amen. Receive the transferred wealth now. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus the Christ. for transferring the financial and material resources from the hands of the wicked ones to your chosen ones. Thank you, Lord. I receive that transfer word. We receive the transfer word. Go ahead and begin to receive. I receive the transfer word. Thank you, my father. I receive the transfer word. Receive it as somebody receiving. Demonstrate with your hand. Use your hand. Receive. I receive the transfer word. Call it to yourself. Draw it to yourself. I receive the transfer word. I receive. Use your hand like receiving something. I receive the transfer word. I receive all the transfer material and financial resources. I receive it as a chosen one to be used for God's purpose. I receive. I repent, O oh God, of all the Catalia Bracate, of any time I've used your resources contrary to your will. I receive the transfer words. 
Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. Receive them. All the material and financial resources, all the physical and material financial resources. Receive them from the hands of the wicked to the hands of the chosen ones. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we have received. Amen. Receive the grace to continue receiving the transfer word. The grace to continuously receive the transfer word. Receive that grace now. The grace to do what will continue to attract and magnet the world to you. Receive the grace now in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The grace to continuously to do the righteous demand required for prosperity. Particularly the grace to be faithful in tithing. And offerings to the anointed altar of God's choosing for your life as priest. Receive the grace to be faithful to do that which attracts the continuous transferred world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. May the Lord grant you mercy. For any usage of all the resources God has committed into your hand. Unnecessarily. Any useless any abuse of the use of the material and financial resources you have had may the lord have mercy upon you Amen. in the name of our lord jesus christ Amen. say father i confess and i repent father i confess and i repent of any practice of unfaithfulness in tithing of any practice of unfaithfulness in tithing or unfaithfulness in offerings or unfaithfulness in offerings Lord, I confess and I repent. Lord, I confess and I repent of my expression of my expression of the abuse of the usage of the abuse of the usage of the resources you have blessed me with. Of the resources you have blessed me with. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Forgive me, O oh Lord, for all misuse. For all misuse of the financial and material resources you have blessed me with. I ask you, Father, to forgive me. I receive your forgiveness by your mercy. And now I ask for the grace for me to use all the material and financial blessings that you have blessed me with. For your purpose, according to your will, in the name of our Lord Jesus the Christ, Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now, listen, that confession we made is very important because the Holy Spirit just showed me here. There are people here, you are not faithful in the usage of the blessings of God in your hand. You are using the resources you are blessed with, the wealth, the money you have, luxuriously on a useless form. God is indicating and is speaking through that direction and that's why we pray that prayer. God is giving you his repent. Don't just use wealth because you have it. You have to even always pray for God to direct you on how to use what you have. And that's why in that way you start first with whatever you have to remove God's portion. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Caesar's tax. And give to God what belongs to God. God tax. The Caesar's own is called tax by man in English. God's own is called tight by man, by God in English. So you start there to give what belongs to God is tight whatever offerings to his directive to his anointed vessels for your life and all other helps of needs of charity and all other important aspects of your life Caesar means your electric bills 